get, the more I rely on my half carpet. The thing about half and playing half for me is understanding and being aware of your underhook game. You know, if Miguel beats me on the underhook here and flattens me out, you know, this, it's not necessarily the end, but as a half guard player, this is not optimal to be to have gotten flattened out and to have your opponent smash you. I mean, this is the beginning of the rest of the pass. Years ago when I was training someone, because I like half guard so much, but I had a coach say to me one time, half guard is half pass. It, it, and, and that is true to some extent, but still I rely on it a lot and, and I really like my half guard. So I'm going to start with, we're going to just do real basic, this kind of kick through, under hook, but now when Miguel goes to re-pummel and flatten me here, I'm not gonna, he's not gonna get that, that re-underhook, right? I just want you to practice blocking that underhook. Just, I'm in half, I'm gonna do this kick through underhook, make the underhook here, same drill you were just doing, but now when Miguel goes to basically re-pummel, and he might do it by re-pummeling that way, he might frame on my face, he can frame away to try to re-pummel. But when he does that, I'm gonna stay in close and make sure he doesn't get that underhook. I want you to do a few reps real light and go ahead and flatten me too. And he's gonna also be trying to flatten me while he's trying to make, but I'm gonna fight hard on that underhook. Keep the drill kind of light, all right? I just wanna get some reps on the underhook. So start in your half. I'm gonna, I'm using this little kick to make a path for my hand. The knee shoot. I'm gonna follow the knee with my hand to get in. Miguel's gonna start to frame and flatten, thinking he was gonna make his re, but he's not, and we're just gonna be here. Okay. Okay. So I've gotta glue this elbow to my rib cage. So I'm in this crunched up side position, and I am not gonna let Miguel make this underhook. So when his hand comes into that spot. I know exactly where his hand is, where it's gonna be, and what it's doing. I know that. I know that if I'm in half guard, and I've closed out the inside space, I know that he's coming for that underhook. If he gets it, I'm done. You're not all the way done, but make your underhook. If he's there, this is like the beginning of the end, right? So, I gotta really block that. So the first piece here, I've got my half. I'm not in a knee shield. I'm okay if he comes close. So my knee is actually around the corner of his hip. As opposed to blocking him out, it's right there on the side. But I still have the inside space. When he goes and make that underhook there, I'm gonna keep this cinch and do a cross grip right here. Right where his hand is and I know it's there. Now you're gonna do really the same motion that you did where you were doing that sit up, where you kick this leg to run your underhook. We're gonna do the same thing you were just doing. We're gonna kick this leg a little bit and run like you're trying to make an underhook, but it's not gonna be an underhook because with this cross grip, you're gonna pull as hard as you can this way. Okay, so block, cross grip, big pull on this side. I'm gonna kick and sit up, not all the way, just a little bit to get here, but immediately, and this is what I'm looking for with this far, and I'm looking for this lapel. So here's my grips now. Sleeve and lapel here. I'm looking to get as high as I can on the inside of the lapel. And if I can, I will flip it out like we do when we're making a choke. Now here's the part that a lot of people struggle with, okay? The movement, Miguel's gonna stay where he is so you can see it at first. I'm gonna move my body backwards like this. It's as if my half guard rotates around Miguel's leg here, right? He doesn't need to move a lot on his lower body. I'm going to do this. My grips, though, are going to do this. I'm going to pull this top lapel and punch the sleeve away, and I'm going to try to flip Miguel over a little bit into this space. He doesn't have to go back down. I don't want his back on the ground. I just want his back right here on me. Okay, so I'll back up, go in reverse. Start my half guard. He goes to make that underhook, cross grip, kick and pull, looking for this far side. 
here. Okay. Now, in order to flip him over, I can keep this grip. Some of you are long armed, some of you are not. I usually have to switch from this grip to the elbow right here. Okay. And I don't need a grip now. I can C cup it and just shove this elbow away. Okay. So I'm going to shove here and pull here and make that movement with my body. I'll go in slow motion. This is the position I want to be in. Now, option one is to just go straight to the lapel choke here and close that out. And even just from this half, I can run behind and I can finish the choke here. Okay? We're here, half guard. He's going to reach for underhook, cross grip. Kick and come up, they get the back, find the far lapel. Switch my grip. Move to half back. So, come watch. I'll go as slow as I can. I'm pushing here, sliding back, creating the space to flip him over here. What I really want is the back. Usually, this may be hard to get because you're pulling so hard on this lapel, you actually can't find it yourself. Right? So, at this point, I will go to secure the back position a little bit better. If I can make the top hook, I will. But see, this is the... That's right, stay there. This is hard to do because of the way that we did the move. Making the top hook can be difficult. So I'm going to go back to this half back. I'm going to make a lockdown style half guard. I'm going to figure four and go behind his leg here. This makes it very tight. And now I'll go real slow. I'm going to hip in hard and pull his upper body to me and throw my hip in and pull on this grip. It's going to open his hip and make it so that I can make the top hook. And then I can continue to work straight from the back. 